Hello, Madison Square Garden. Is New York ready to make America great again? My friends, I came here tonight so excited to be with you. I came off of the field to give you a very important field report. Now, I've, I've been traveling all around the country nonstop. We've been to the red states and the blue states. We've been to the safe districts and the swing districts. We've been all around America. And I'm going to tell you what's happening right now. I'm here to report something. There's something very powerful happening out there among the base, OK? I'm telling you, there's an energy out there that we have not seen before. And I am convinced, I am convinced that in nine days, we are going to grow the House majority. We're going to take back the Senate and send Donald Trump back to the White House. Let me tell you why that is. Let me tell you why that is. Because everywhere around the country, no matter where you live, everybody is fed up and they are fired up. They're, they're fed up. It doesn't matter what demographic they're in. It doesn't matter what walk of life. They know that we cannot afford four more years of Kamala Harris in the White House. And we can't possibly afford turning the House or the Senate over to the Democrats. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you what I ask these groups all around the country. Do you want four more years of open borders? I don't think you do. No. no. You want four more years of high cost and inflation? You want four more years of rising crime in every community? No. Four, how about four more years of woke ideology in our schools and our military? <laughs> you want four more years of wars and weakness on the world stage? Nobody does. American voters are sick of it, and they want to change. Now listen, for the last two years, we've had a bit of a dilemma, right? The House has been the only firewall in Washington standing between Chuck Schumer and the Democrats in the Senate, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, and the American people. Now, we played defense. We, we blocked their woke America last agenda, and we passed solutions to all the great challenges facing the country. But here's the problem. They got stopped in the Senate. We also had the smallest Republican majority in U.S. history. But you know what the good news is? We're about to grow that majority. That's what's going to happen on November 5th. New York is going to make that happen. You're going to elect your incumbents here and our challengers, and you're going to make the big difference. And we need a Republican Senate so we can retire Chuck Schumer for good. And America needs, and everybody knows, no matter where we are in the country, we know we have to get Donald J. Trump back to the White House so we can get this thing fixed. When we do that, we're going to secure the border once for all. We're going to unleash American energy dominance again. We're going to, we're going to lower the cost of living. We're going to support our allies and stand up to our adversaries. We're going to defend our rights and our freedoms and the troops and the veterans who fought for them. And we will protect the values and the principles that made America the greatest nation in the history of the world. I'll just, I'll just leave you with this thought. We're not in a battle this time just between two uh, different political parties. It's much deeper than that. There's something much more fundamental going on. We're in a battle between two completely different visions for who we are as a nation and who we're going to be. We revere the founding principles. We revere our Judeo-Christian foundations. We revere individual freedom and limited government and the rule of law and peace through strength and fiscal responsibility, free markets, human dignity, secure borders. But the other team doesn't anymore, my friends. This is not your father's Democratic Party. They are now full on to Marxism and socialism. They don't envision for us to save the founding principles and the greatest nation in the history of the world. Instead, what they envision for us is that we would be some sort of European-style Marxist borderless utopia. We all know that's a dangerous fool's errand. You know what's going to happen in nine days? The American people are going to let their voices be heard. We are going to take this country back. We're going to restore the foundations, and we are truly going to make America great again. Thank you so much. God bless you.
God bless the United States of America.